You are now listening to the Salty Virgins Podcast. Welcome to the Salty Virgins Club Podcast. I'm your host, Jordan. Uh, we're here, 5th of July. Uh, everybody's tired. Uh, nobody's been getting any sleep because of all these fireworks. Low energy introduction today from Jordan. I am tired <laughs> as fuck, bro. I had quite the day. And I didn't celebrate America. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, how'd you how'd you celebrate uh, All Countries Day? Uh, by doing all of the things I would ra- regularly do. I went to my roommate's parents' house, and then I ate lunch at with not even at, but with some of my friends, and then came home and made a cake. Did you? How many how many glizzies did you house? You know I don't eat that. <laughs> How many glizzies did you gladiate? <laughs> uh, none, because I don't eat hot dogs. It's not disgusting. They, what's a hot dog? They... <laughs> Fair. I don't recognize that uh, colonizer board. <laughs> <laughs> My only name is Glizzy. They, like, the internet really made Glizzy happen in a, a single week leading up the 4th of July. I already knew about Glizzy, but I think that's because I follow somebody from Philly on like twitter yeah like that the philly uh uh fucking maryland dc virginia area like that's just like normal slang but like that glizzy had not hit like the mainstream and then like i know it, vince was part of it and then obviously other people because we got white people in the espn saying glizzy gladiator in like five days a play-by-play hot dog eating contest commentator which is a wild sentence to start Said the phrase "glizzy hey, gladiator." Wait, was it Joe Tessator? Was it Tess? No. It was no. <laughs> if Tess said "glizzy gladiator," I'd fucking throw up. He said the words "glizzy gladiator" on live television during the hot dog eating contest, which you know a fuck ton of people were watching because there ain't shit else to do. Patrick was watching so intently. Oh uh, yeah, I watched the last year's right before this year's. <laughs> he had to catch up on last yeah, season. He had to handy. grind some tape. <laughs> Who was your favorite game. going into it? Uh, Joey Chestnut. What do you mean? Kobayashi's won a couple. Kobayashi's Kobayashi not competing. Kobayashi, he Kobayashi he hasn't won anymore. in like 15 years. He doesn't I, compete anymore. Chestnut, yeah. Chestnut ate Kobayashi into retirement. That he, sounds like, par- like problematic. Really. Listen, he did it. I did the DraftKings like... Like free contest where they set draft your hot dog like eating over, under this that <laughs> I didn't I didn't believe in Joey Chestnut to set the record this year I was wrong I thought the absence you're, of a crowd was really gonna get his energy down a damn fool okay. you you feed off the crowd in those moments though when you start to hit that you know after your after your sixtieth click uh, <laughs> you start to hit that wall but he just found a way yeah, to fight uh, through it in the silence. Mr. Chestnut was struggling to get those last glizzies down oh yeah like, but he, to be fair. <laughs> The the guy that like the carnival barker guy that does the commentating during it like not for the TV broadcast but like announcing to the crowd who's also by the way the commissioner of major league eating, which is a Real thing game. that you can be. They have uh, a, they had a video game. Yeah, he was hyping <laughs> chestnut. They had shit major league up. eating. Yeah, he was he was hyping the fuck out of him. So I I could see how that got him going. Real strong performance from 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 our man Joey Chestnut. Joey Chestnut. Congrats to 75 him. hot dogs in 10 minutes. Major I mean, at one point, game. he was at a... Video game for the Wii. I actually yeah, did not I, I can see that. I can see that. Uh, just go... Pat's purchasing just... it right now. <laughs> yeah. I already have Pat, if I see a video of six you... 6 out of 10. <laughs> That's not a horrible game. It's not a good game. Uh, we were, we, we Wear World stated the game had a unique blend of concepts wrapped around a somewhat distasteful premise and vulgar humor. So, that might uh, actually be a good game. <laughs> from that. <laughs> Make about eating dicks. Oh. My oh. God. <laughs> Did you guys chug glizzies any glizzies? Uh, no I glizzies had, uh, to be found. I had a couple brats. I had we two made and a hamburger. Okay. We made a Italian sausage a couple nights before, but I didn't consume any uh any glizzies on the fire. We did barbecue. We picked up barbecue because I went to I went about an hour south, and my family got a condo like literally on the beach. Um, so we just spent 
4th of July either in the condo or on the beach and never talking to anyone else. It was fantastic. Look at Richie McRich over here. Yeah. I think... I have to go and, and look at the, the price of the places, but I think those places were more reasonable than I would have thought because the, the condo was like was kind of nice, but it's just like that area, there's just so much Airbnb and VRBO stuff that it, it's not like exorbitantly expensive. Hmm. So that might there's be also like a pandemic a, limiting people renting out right now. That's fair. But that might be a move. Uh, that, w- that was cool. That was like, it was, a ni- it was to, good to get out of the house, but still not have to see anybody else. Big fan. We'll see them, I guess, but not interact with them. Because there were people on the beach, but it wasn't too crowded, which I was very surprised by. Because <laughs> I know Jack's beaches were popping, not in a good way. Yeah, uh, Jacksonville does not give a fuck about coronavirus at all. They're just letting it kick them in the neck. I mean, to be fair, going to the beach can be done in a responsible way. Where you yeah, don't but it's not. interact with others and, and you know, you, you since it's outdoors and there's there's more open air, except <sighs> most people just don't give a fuck about that either. <laughs> they sure don't. Many many a lakes were infested with humans this weekend. I saw a lot of that. Yeah, that makes me happy. Uh, COVID's gonna keep whooping our ass until twenty twenty two. What was that lake called? Like Murder Kill? Like Murder Kill? Uh, <laughs> yes. No, uh, Murder no, Kill River. Murder Kill that River. was a different it's- thing. <laughs> it's uh, Lake Lanier is the yes. Lake Lanier is the Georgia Lake. Yeah, yeah. But Murder Kill River put up some numbers um, in the past week. Got his name out there. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> what'd you do? What'd you do for the fourth, Jackson? Uh, I went to a friend's house and we uh, grilled a little bit, made some glizzies and hamburgers uh, from the pool, and uh, set up some fireworks like the. Degenerate Floridians we are. And okay, then we're dead by 8 o'clock and went home and fell asleep by 10. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about you, Pat? Uh, we went to Sarah's co-worker's house for a little bit and then we went to our neighbor's uh, and set off fireworks. And let me tell you something, they did not get off the ground. None of the nice. fireworks? <laughs> Some of them just exploded in the mortar. Terrifying. <laughs> Fireworks are trash. It's true. <laughs> Terrifying. I love fireworks. Last night, last, like, I, was, I had to drive uh, along I-4, like, past downtown. I've never seen so many, like, big-ass fireworks being set off in backyards than last night, I guess, because oh, of the yeah. pandemic. Like, I, everyone, there were just so many fireworks. Because fireworks cost a dollar. Yeah. Like, a dollar. I don't dislike fireworks. Uh, it's nice to go see a nice fireworks show going on. Uh, I do not necessarily agree with the sale of massive fucking fireworks to regular ass human beings that i don't agree with that either there's no shit there's no reason for you to be setting off shit like that in the driveway next to mine like there's just no fucking reason for that if you if there's going to be a display in an area where it's like safe sure fireworks are fun to watch for like 15 minutes and then sure but i just like those people random ass people setting off massive fucking fireworks is just the dumbest thing to me it's really absurd you sound like a coward to me, is what I'm yeah. hearing. Sounds like a cop. Wee wee is that wee what that is? wee. It's just dumb. It's dumb. Listen, it's their God-given American right. Yeah, I don't know what you mean. You're gonna tell me oh I can't my. shoot my gun off in the air next? Come on. I love getting to that. <laughs> I don't know. I've I've never like fireworks are cool, but I've I've never I never go out and buy a shit ton of fireworks. I'll get. Like a Kevin, bottle rockets you were with shit. us when we bought like a hundred dollars or hundred and fifty yeah, dollars in high school. In you high school, like nineteen. <laughs> right. Listen, I'm I'm not saying I've never part- partaken in it, but I've as I've gotten older, I'm like I don't want to go buy. Like I'll I'll go watch a big display. I'll let people that know how to do that shit and set it off. Unless you're the city of St. Louis. Well, it was St. Louis, right? That set off like thirty minutes worth of fireworks at the same time, was, like ten years. San Diego, ago. San Diego, uh, San Diego, that's what it was. and twenty twelve. Uh, <laughs> that the per, the technician that set up not just one, but seven different firework displays along the coast of San Diego, fucked up the timers on every single one. So, <laughs> but each thirty minute display went off in thirty seconds. It was literally just like shots insane noise and just this guy was lit up for like a minute and then it was just fucking over <laughs> that's the exact amount of fireworks i ever want to see 
<laughs> like all these bullshit, like hour long fire. It's like I don't care after like five minutes. I feel that. I'm. I want. That sounds like my sex life. That sounds like my sex life. Wow. The luster of it wears off for me after like 10, 10, 15 minutes. It's like okay, like we were on the beach watching fireworks, and after like fifteen minutes, I was like, okay, I'm I'm Just, satisfied. I'm <laughs> to go home now. Can I go? I've home seen now? things go boom in the sky. I'm gonna go to the room and drink. Long enough to. Uh, Get my b- good boomerang off and go back home. <laughs> yes. I had a nice frisbee toss yesterday. How did he rock that scooper? Oh my god. That was a <laughs> deep Parks and Rec reference. Uh, I was like, I do not <laughs> <laughs> That was a very deep reference. <laughs> I haven't thrown a, I haven't gotten thrown a frisbee in a long time, but uh, Daniel and I, there's like a beautiful field right outside the condo, like right between the sand dune. And we were just throwing the frisbee around. Like uh, like God intended. It's a good time. It's good. Got a lot of right. Procadema in this week too. I don't even know like what the, that is. The paddle like the paddle ball game on the beach. Oh, I didn't yeah, know like if that's what that was. With, I I think that's just the brand that makes that has the market cornered. Oh. But played a lot of Procadema too. I thought it was just beach tennis. I mean, that's essentially what it is. But yeah, it was good. I drank far too much this weekend who's shocked and not even in the like normal binge state it was more of just a constant consumption of some sort of alcohol for like three straight days i'm just tired now not a great week for me in the weight loss bed either i'm sure oh, God, if you no. ate a hundred glizzies what? i consumed no glizzies I don't, know. I don't know if i believe that i've consumed brisket pulled pork some um the, the place we ordered from had like mashed yams okay which i was i was on the fence about because i like yams but i've just never had as like a barbecue side but big fan it was essentially like a sweet potato adjacent which makes sense yes it yeah is, uh, good barbecue i thought yams were sweet. they're slightly different they're, it's, yeah it's a whole thing they're very similar but not people will fight yet. about about the difference between a sweet potato and a yam yeah. I personally don't like either. Yeah, hmm. I like both. Bad take. Uh, I'm okay with that. I think a potato should be white, because white is right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, I will you don't like the, the, uh, the purple potatoes that they cook with on MasterChef? Not really. I don't like purple cauliflower either. They use the shit out of that. They you sure do. Cauliflower, cauliflower puree, it's purple. Oh, yeah. Because it's like, yeah, it looks pretty... Yeah, also, why are you pureeing no. cauliflower? That can't well, taste cause that it's good. Like, so, a cauliflower puree is as akin to mashed potatoes as you can get without having mashed potatoes. But just tasting worse. Well, if you season it right, no, but likely yes. I You cannot <laughs> you convince me it, that it you can take like a cauliflower, cauliflower and make all, it taste so. better than a potato. You just can't convince me of that. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that at all. <laughs> I'm just saying if you season it right, it will be as akin to mashed potatoes as you can get. Without being like, yeah, every dish I have has mashed potatoes. I guess that's fair. But just give me the mashed potatoes. Like, I... <laughs> and that's why you're not on MasterChef. That's the reason. Not because I'm <laughs> trash at cooking. <laughs> because of my beef with cauliflower versus potatoes. Yep, that's it. <laughs> that's the only thing holding you back. While we're talking about being trash at cooking, I bought a brand new set of pots and pans while I'm moving. Like, this Burn is them average. all. I, I can't. I, I can't wait to fucking ruin all these nice pots and pans that I have. To try to cook. <laughs> I'm still not. You've never cooked anything for me, so I don't know if it's good or not. I mean, I can make decent mac and cheese. It's just like a lot of effort, so I don't do that very often. But besides the mac and cheese, I don't really care about much of the stuff I make. Like I can make pretty decent tasting chicken, rice, asparagus, like stuff like that. I know how to cook a steak. I'm so fucking good at grilling, but not 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 very wide in the. It's fair. I I've I've always not like I don't I don't mind eating simple meals for dinner. Kayla cannot stand like I'll be like oh I, you know we can just have, I can really just make make some rice, cook chicken and season it. Yep, that's what I have for dinner. And Kayla's like that's just not enough. We can't be doing that for dinner. So I was like, okay, oh, yeah, no, if she wants to cook nicer stuff, I, I'll help her. I'm not going to complain about it. But I've like, if it was up to me, I feel like our dinners would be a lot more plain because I'm just, I'm just a piece of shit. It's not uh, a well-rounded season. All I would eat for dinner every single day would be chicken and broccoli. 
and then some days like, <laughs> like do like taco or some something like that. But yeah, like uh, now I really I, like, like chicken thirteen out of four, thirteen to fourteen days like chicken and broth. I would make eggs for a meal multiple times in a day sometimes in college. You're oh, nuts. <laughs> I love eggs. I can eat like. Come and you wonder why you were farting so much. That's the reason. That's, That's the one of the reason. reasons. <laughs> I had three meals of eggs in a day. Not three. Two. Listen, I, I'm with Kevin on this one. Eggs are fantastic. Eggs, eggs are, are great. Do, a, a very do normal. For breakfast. Do your breakfast for dinner. <laughs> yeah. Every single day. A very normal every single day. Like, day of food for me in college would be like, Eggs in the morning, whether it be scrambled. Usually, it started as an omelet, and then if I fucked it up, it would turn into scrambled eggs. Or sometimes, sometimes I would do Can we an over scrambled eggs every day. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, sometimes I would do like over easy if I was really feeling it. But I, like an omelet in the morning, a sandwich for lunch, I'm feeling it today, cold cuts, and then for dinner, fat ass omelet. And then I would do like the grilled veggies. I would I would make like the the frozen veggies, the steam fresh packs, and get some veggies in there. Damn, is Kevin feeling it? <laughs> He's feeling it, guys. <laughs> it looks like he got over easy. Yeah, he's feeling it. He's on his game today. <laughs> the judges in my season of MasterChef. Whoa, he's gone over hard today. <laughs> oh, oh no. He's gotten into him. I do hate that they're like, if the yolk's not runny, I don't want it. And I'm like, all right, bro. You all have shit tasting eggs. I hate you so much. I love guys, I the, the master, the master chef. Oh, uh, yeah, like, they're like, we the, want it to be watery and, cr- <laughs> and creamy. They do, they do prefer, like... They were because that's how to make like, scrambled eggs, and they would like wanted them water. And I was like, I get not overcooking them, but like I don't want an egg soup. I need some consistency in there. The French Dude, way I to want cook them. Soup. God, I want Chinese. Food. <laughs> Patrick, Good did luck. you smoke a fat bowl before we started recording? <laughs> <I'm> so hungry. <laughs> Patrick wants to be me so bad. <laughs> no, I, just the way they ask them to cook eggs. And it's like, oh, it's slightly overdone, so it's not going to run all over the plate. It's like, yeah, like, it's not disgusting. <laughs> like, ugh. Yeah. I don't know. Scrambled eggs. I mean, I don't know. I, scrambled eggs for me have Scrambled eggs fucking like slap. They do. I, I never said they didn't. <laughs> yeah. And pretty much any yeah, form of the egg. Ma- the Master Chef people need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Master Chef and Top Chef. Top Chef's the... Top Chef's the worst about eggs. They're like, oh, it only ran halfway over the plate? All right, you're going home. Pack your knives and go. I need this I need this egg to run a fucking 100 meter sprint. <laughs> they do. That's how running I need this fucking egg. It's like, why why cook the egg then? <laughs> Can I just crack it open into your mouth? <laughs> they would literally prefer that to, to someone overdoing eggs a little bit. <laughs> and then they'd say, oh, it's under season. All right, fuck you, bro. <laughs> If you can't tell, I've been watching a lot of Top Chef with Emma. I've still been crushing. Casey, I've been on the Hell's Kitchen grind. Oh, we did Hell's when we first got together. We did Hell's Kitchen. Now we're on. We've watched Hell's Kitchen, Guys, Grocery Games, uh, Master Chef, and Master Chef Junior, and now we're on Top Chef. So while you were watching Hell's Kitchen, did you notice that none of them can cook like at all? Yeah, I like think that's all edited. Cooking. They're real bad. Yeah, I know because I know they're I'm, they're showing like the five bad or six cuts. entrees. I don't yeah. know, like, I'm guessing they're serving like fifty or so each per night. Pro- probably I mean, more. There's so much raw food. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah, it's like you know what? This is fine. Scared them. I don't care. It's, I'm so, done cooking this. I noticed that when we were watching Hell's Kitchen, it was like I get. I get that some of these people may be just like average people they bring on, but there's no way they can be. They're making scallops every night, and they like fuck how, them up they every up single <laughs> night. Well, they I got this down scallop a is hole. fucking raw. I got down a you rabbit don't hole, and uh, apparently in like that show in particular, producers like would go through and fuck with people, like while they're making shit, like swap out their shit for other stuff, like. Salt, salt for sugar, stuff like that, or just literally like, imp- or imp- like plant a shit meal so the camera time can get it and Ramsey can get mad at someone. Oh, I'd pull, that. Out, I'd pull out the fucking lopper. <laughs> <laughs> well, also Ramsey always has like six bodyguards at him at all times. Well, yeah, because I, he's no, an I'm asshole gonna, gonna shoot, for a living. I'm not gonna shoot. I'm not gonna shoot Gordon. He's fine. No, the fucking producers running producers. around and fucking up my shit. <laughs> Also, the person that wins Hell's Kitchen never actually... They always say you'll be the head chef at one of his restaurants. They usually 
just make give them like a shitty position, but then give it a different title. <laughs> That's they, they never right. actually they never actually hand over the keys to a restaurant to the fucking person that wins that show. Uh, for the season I watched, I think it was fifteen. Uh, they actually let the person who won it. She, they were the head chef at the restaurant in Valleys, in Las Vegas. The same, the restaurant the, we went to. Yeah. Yeah, the we Gordon Ramsay steak or whatever. Yeah. But the did BLT they actually, steak. are they actually still the head chef? Or was it just something they dangled in front of them, but never actually? No, she was on? the head chef for like two years. And then she oh, moved okay. on to like a different position. That's pretty good. Yeah, so I read some of them. But, uh, they just like she was said, not that She was not that chef when we went there. Hmm. Did look that up. It's fair. I gotta thank uh, all the people that voted in the Twitter poll uh, for crowning the true Glizzy Gladiator on Twitter. Uh, it's always good to weed out the imposters. Honestly, uh, I'm, I'm just fine with it. That <laughs> no, you can have the name. I, I got a new name. All right, I just, yeah. I, I just, I just need people, people just to know, know you can take more hot dogs. It's I need fine. people to know who the true throat goat is. <laughs> yeah, I need you to stop saying that. I just need you to stop saying that. I know I what it's so. from. I just need you to stop saying it. <laughs> I will Burger not. Murder Throat, shout out Vince Staples. I thought about uh, changing my Twitter name to Throat Goat, and I was like, that's a little too far. <laughs> yeah, that's a little too <laughs> far. It's a little on the nose, Kevin. That's the, yeah. no, that's the, that's the title of the OnlyFans page. <laughs> yes. yes uh, SaltyVirgins.com forward slash Throat Goat. Yes. Top point zero five percent of OnlyFans. Look at me. How is everybody, you know, I don't want to have that conversation today. Okay. How is everybody in the... Beans been good. (laughs) Been good. (laughs) Listen. So I got... I got a... I woke up on Friday morning or Thursday morning. I forget which day. And logged on to Twitter, as I do with most mornings, to check in, you know, scroll through, favorite some tweets, make fun of Ron DeSantis a little bit. Found out I had been thrown in jail. (laughs) (laughs) They locked your ass right up. I got put in 12 hours of Twitter jail for, and air quotes around this, uh, violating their terms of abuse. <laughs> Apparently telling someone they deserve to get punched in the fucking face is not allowed on the internet now. <laughs> I miss the old also, Twitter. what a disrespectful amount of time to be put in Twitter jail. Like 12 hours? <laughs> Damn it, I miss that. We know you're not a... We're not, you know, you know, we know you're not a real threat, but we got to do something. So, uh, Kevin got a proverbial slap on the wrist. Well, you know what the worst part about Twitter jail was is they still let you scroll Twitter. You so just I can't still tweet. Open Twitter <laughs> you can't tweet, retweet, favorite. The only thing you can do is send direct messages. So I'll be scrolling through, and I'll go to favorite, and a white screen would pop up and be like, "Hey, you're still in jail for eight hours." Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, Damn it! Uh, so Kevin got that was, disrespected. That was a good time. Hey, at Jack. Uh, stop being a coward. Uh, the people need to hear what Kevin has to say. Also, I've been called some disgusting things on Twitter. I cannot believe the line is saying someone deserves to get punched in the face. Listen, buddy. They said, there was a study done that if they got rid of like fake news and like Nazis on Twitter, there would be no Republicans left on Twitter. That's a real <laughs> thing that happened. So like, they really pick and choose who they decide to uh, use that violation of terms of service it's fair against i was legitimately scared because when i when i got taken out of jail i tweeted i was like i'm back and ron DeSantis is still a bitch and i was like what if i get put in jail again <laughs> like, what if ron DeSantis is just like report or uh whoever i think reported me name redacted just reports that shit again and then i get put in like a three-day jail what was i gonna Beep! do <laughs> <laughs> i have i have some ideas on who reported me that's a good beep jordan a couple I- Couple we should, fence sitters we should clip that. That I know. <laughs> they're not fence sitters. They uh, claim to be fence sitters so they can act above everything. Yeah, they're not. That you can't. They're that, they're that devil's advocate meme that's been going around. It's like, yep. I'm the white guy who's gonna play devil's advocate because none of this is real to me. It's all theoretical. Yeah. Yep. And you can't be a fence sitter on like issues of human rights. You're either with it or you're against it. Do and Black Lives against- Matter? Well, I'm on the fence. Yeah. No, you're I, not. I'm not really <laughs> sure. Like, their PR guy doesn't really resonate with me, so... The rioting. No, These I'm very specific, the well-thought-out statements they put out just don't make sense to me. I've never heard of systematic racism. It's never affected me. It doesn't exist. I, I still cannot... 
that argument being used so much. Like I've I've never seen this at all. I've never been oppressed. I've never had a cop shoot me dead in the street. How's this happening? Coley made a very salient point that I had I personally had never thought about the other day. Uh, it was on mixtape where he was like he was at this party and like the cop showed up and he was in a wealthy neighborhood and this girl came into the house and was like oh I just did my first line of code blah 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 and then Coley was like I was gonna book it out of there and then the girl he was with was like like what are you doing and she was like they're not gonna bother you like at all and he was like what are you talking about and <laughs> Like, that's a lot of people, not a lot of people, that's white people's uh, feelings about the cops sometimes, where it's like, oh, they've never done anything to me, so, like, I can't believe that they do anything to anybody else. But, like, that's not the universal uh, sentiment. Now, and I, I can see that, not, not that that's correct, but I can see that, but my... I guess this is me thinking a little too logically, but then once you see not one, not two, not ten, not fifty, not a hundred, but literal thousands of videos of the exact opposite happening to people that just don't look exactly like you, you'd think it would eventually start to drive home the point a little. See, they shouldn't break the law, Kevin. Uh, I don't think you know that. They shouldn't break the law. They shouldn't be outside. Uh, Why were they running? Because they thought they were going to get killed. What do you mean? (laughs) If I had a gun pulled on me, I'm shitting my pants, I'm pissing myself, and I'm moving in some sort of direction. I don't know where. (laughs) I might lay on the ground and start convulsing. I don't know. (laughs) I know I'm not standing still and listening. Yes. While somebody puts a gun and their boot on my head. Yeah. (laughs) I'm good. I'll just, I'll never be able to understand it. But I guess that's part of the thing is, it's, it's not, it's not people, it's not people uh not being open and then still thinking the same thing it's just refusing to refusing to believe that anything else could happen because it's more convenient was it white people's whole thing like data like the data doesn't bear this out but then when the data bears it out they're like that's not all of it yeah like all right like at what point like at what point are we going to use our own logic and put this together just fucking never like, this I is do awful. know that Ron DeSantis is a bitch, though. That's a fact. Uh, Wait, I have to go check the official uh, at Governor Ron DeSantis governor account to check if he's a bitch. <laughs> oh, I, I was so that happy. Still, I found still says that. yes. That still says yes. Conveniently, I found that Twitter account while I was in Twitter jail. It's funny how that works out. But what it's a great crazy account! Crazy how that happens. <laughs> really clever of them to nab the handle at Ron DeSantis gov as well. Inc- Not sure how they did that. Incredibly. This is so. If you search Ron DeSantis, this is so high up in the fucking search results. <laughs> <laughs> well, it uh, is. It is official. Governor Ron DeSantis Twitter. Uh, Ron DeSantis Florida, which I'm assuming is his campaign account. Third result: Ron DeSantis Gov is Ron DeSantis a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Things you love to see. Somebody did something good for the internet this week. Because everything else on the internet is seemingly horrible. Whoever did, if they want to reveal themselves, hey, we'll shout you out. Yeah, we'll, uh... But I prefer... I I understand if you prefer to stay anonymous anonymous as well. I get it. (laughs) Anonymous. You know, we get it, you know? Real G's move in silence like lasagna. Huh. That's not my bar. I know. That's, okay. <laughs> that was like revolutionary. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it took Kevin a second to break that one down. He was like, wait. <laughs> the moron, the dunce cat moron picture just fucking kills me too. Moron. <laughs> ah, what a gem. What a gem. Speaking of, uh, COVID is kicking our ass right now oh i mean it never stopped kicking our ass if we're being fair it's in fuck it's in the zone it's jordan in the fourth quarter right now (laughs) like the code's lebron at the three-point line staring down uh perk or staring down (laughs) fucking serge Ibaka. it's spinning the ball (laughs) spinning the ball in his face taking his leisurely time just bang COVID heard people calling it a bitch, and it came back came back with a vengeance. Can you blame it? 
I can't. Uh, COVID is out here. Also, do you see that there's there there's already another flu strain that virologists are saying yeah. has it's, pandemic it's, potential? It's a Swiping strain of strain in China. Yep. With pandemic potential, the situation is being monitored. The no, situ- it's not. It's we've not. just been through this. No, it's not. <laughs> We're never gonna get to go back outside again. Ever. Never will we ever get to go outside again. I mean, outside kind of stinks. But it's doesn't. so hot outside. It is. It is so I... suffocatingly hot outside. Right now. <laughs> it is. When I was moving last week, I wanted to die. I've had to stop. I can't take the dogs on walks legitimately anymore for the next couple months because the ground is so fucking hot. It's, it's, it's like abuse to take them on a walk at this point. <laughs> well, no, you, you gotta... can take them on walks at like 9 p.m. because the sun's still out. It's just now it's 80 degrees. Instead of 50 <laughs> it's degrees. fair. We could, we could do night walk. Fortunately, the corgi doesn't seem to mind uh, less walks. Oh, I'm shocked. <laughs> we, we just play a little more fetch in the yard with Luna. Also, I'm pretty confident that the dogs didn't shit for like two days. At one point, because I would, like, I open the sliding glass door to let them out, and then they're out, And but if I don't go out and, like, sit with them, like, they Lacey will go do her own thing, poop. so Lacey probably shit, but Luna, like, if I, once I, like, am come back inside, she'll either just go outside and sit and, like, look around. If I keep the door open, they'll continue roaming, but once I close the door, they, they know the door's closed and they come and they can't, yeah, like, roam ridiculous. outside anymore. So it does. So... I was like, I would let the, I would open the door, and Luna would run outside, and then just take a seat in the shade and look at the pond. I'd be like, I'm not keeping the door open for this. You have to come back inside. It's 95 degrees outside. I'm sweating. They don't care. Yeah. So I've had to like go outside, close the door, but then I'm, I'm literally two minutes outside, and I'm like, I gotta fucking take a shower now. I'm <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> it's very hot. I cannot right. do this shit. When we went to Memphis on Tuesday, it was just like, if I don't shower in the next three minutes, I will vomit. Because I smell terrible. How was Memphis? Uh, It would have probably been really cool if, one, anything was open, and two, uh, I wasn't there for an Elvis-themed wedding. (laughs) That sounds amazing. What do you mean? (laughs) Uh, No. I had no barbecue... I did see the pyramid, so that was cool. The Bass Pro Shops pyramid? Yeah. Uh, Worth it, honestly. Menu. But other did than you that... go into the Bass Pro Shop pyramid? I did not. I did not go into the pyramid. I think it's more for exterior viewing. I think once you get inside, it, it can't be that different from most other Bass Pro Shops. Probably not, because... Big all fish bass- tank. Yeah. A lot of racism. Definitely a lot, a lot of, of guns. Racism. Yeah. A lot of surprisingly cool f- shirts. Yeah, they have decent shirts and things, which is odd. I still have a I have a Bass Pro gift uh, gift card in my drawer somewhere. Cause I do like I get gift cards as gifts sometimes, but then if I don't use it within the first like two days, it just goes into like a pile. Did it exist? Cause like the 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 you know hundred dollar Amazon gift card, I know I'm using that, but like the if I get like a ten dollar gift card or twenty dollar gift card or something, if I don't use it right away, it'll end up getting put away. And I just have a drawer of like either half used gift cards or small denomination to places I don't normally shop. So it's like if I really want it, I probably have a couple hundred dollars in my drawer. But it's like, it's like I have to think about it to use it. You know, what you mean? should it's just not a sell them on the internet. Yeah, I used I would to sell. I not buy a used gift card on the internet. I'll tell you right. <laughs> well, you get the code, like you send it through a third party. So, like, you send them the code, and then they verify it, and then they, like, ship it out and deal with it on the back end. Yeah. It's really Um, easy, actually. It takes, like, five minutes. I used to sell gift cards to my parents. Like, if I got a gift card as a gift, and I would rather have the cash, I would just sell it, and my parents would give me face value for it when I was young. That was fantastic. I don't get that many gift cards, but what I did... I disagree. Do you know those uh, like Visa rechargeable gift cards? You actually have to yeah, pay yeah, money. To... They're the stupidest things ever. <laughs> Just give cash. <laughs> what you... Well, once you have it, you don't have to pay anything extra. Yeah, but why are you buying that for someone else? You're spending more money than you were than just giving cash. Some people, 
some people... Aren't you the one that's weird about giving cash as a gift? Wasn't it you when we had this fucking discussion? That was... Yes. was someone on this podcast... That was Patrick. Oh, I gave you cash gift. as a gift. Yeah. <laughs> as a wedding gift, yeah. Wait, Wait but, you don't want cash? No, I'd rather... I'd, I'd give cash rather than a gift card, is what I'm saying. But I'd rather give a gift than cash. But the, the argument for the gift... And so I, I get it. I, I'm that way, too. Tier of gift. But the argument of gift card is some people don't some people don't want to give cash. It feels like it's tacky to just like give bills. But uh, <laughs> they'll give like so their alternative is to give a gift card because in some people's minds that's like a small step above. I don't agree with it, but that's like the frame of logic. But I was like I, I was like I'm pretty sure you were the one that harped on not giving cash as gifts. So I don't know how this is where this is coming yeah, from. Yeah, for for like a I'd rather not give cash as a gift, but I'd rather get. A so what do you want for your wedding then, coward? We have a registry, but if you don't want to give us anything off the registry, I'll take cash. Fuck it. But don't give him something that's not on the registry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't fucking buy shit off from off the registry. I'm buying him something off the registry just to be a problem. <laughs> just don't give me like a fifty dollar in and out gift card. Like, what am I gonna do with that? I, Go have some. Where am I gonna get one? <laughs> it's just an example. <laughs> Kevin, muted, Kevin fucking muted himself. You're an idiot. <laughs> You probably had to because of uh, all the dogs. The dogs are whooping his ass right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was, yeah, my, my house is an absolute nightmare. Sorry. Uh, did did you just pull that out or did someone, that's, that felt oddly specific. Did someone give you an in and out gift card? No, it's just an example. I was, I was thinking of a restaurant where I could not use it at all or like a, a place. Aren't you going to Montana like next month? I don't, I don't think have I'm in and out in Montana. I don't know. I've well, never been to Montana. What do you mean? Then why are you going? Anyway. <laughs> I want to see the rock. I'm going to go record with before. Kanye. Yeah. I'm going to drop my album. Then. Are you still going to go to Montana? I uh, sure hope so. It seems like that might not be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, where, where you're going, you would just be... It's like isolated, right? It's just in a different place. But the plane ride there is the scariest yes. part. Yeah. But then again, that's going to be the hot spot. That's going to get it in the airport. Travel, leaving from Florida, <laughs> he's going to yeah, get it in the airport. I mean, yeah. If we can't fly, we're just going to drive to Colorado. That sounds like a nightmare. We talked. Oh, about buddy, I hope you can fly. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Yeah, we're also, I mean, I have flights, my, my flight, the flights in my life that are booked are for August, and it's like, it's when I not booked looking them, good. when I booked them, it felt like, yeah, well, I mean, I think the flights will still go, but on top of, it's, it, planes already being a sardine can of germs, airlines are still booking the shit out of middle seats after saying they won't. Yep. Uh, American yeah. said, nah, we're not going to do it for a week, and then they were like, nah, fuck that, we're losing money. They literally were saying we're not they we're not going to book middle seats, so people started booking flights, and then they just changed it midway, but then didn't tell people till they got to the airport. Like, oh, by the way, we sold extra seats. There's going to be someone touching your leg this whole flight. Uh, good luck. Hope you don't get coronavirus. Because you can't, will. and you can't sue us because there's no precedent for it. Things are great. So yeah, these uh, upcoming flight plans. In August. I'm, I mean, it's it's late August, early September, but still, this shit isn't going away for any time soon. Absolutely not. But like, also, one of the flights we have booked, like, are we gonna go on that trip? Is anything gonna be open? Uh, good question. I don't know. I mean, they'll probably be open for people from Colorado. You you all might have to quarantine for a little bit. So well, we're going to Chicago to too. Oh yeah. Well. I'm going to Same New Orleans. Thing. Oh, I'm, I'm going to die this year. <laughs> <laughs> Pat is fucking cooked. Yeah, it's over for me. Yeah, so I don't, I'm, I'm going to go create a hotspot in Boston next week, so it's fine. Just give everybody in Boston coronavirus. I mean, it's so funny that the NBA chose Orlando. <laughs> when ESPN posted the first pictures of the Coronado, it was like, Fuck! I really want to go there because they have like a like a bar on like the lake, which serves mm -hmm. really good beer. I'm mad, and it's just like you know, like Pat Bev's gonna be fucking somebody in that bar. <laughs> Not just Pat Bev. 
James Harden is going to change stripper culture in the city of Orlando single handedly. Like, he's doing his part to support local economies. Yes, Mm -hmm. I appreciate local businesses. I appreciate him for that. But like, he's going to give him the key to the city, (laughs) rejuvenating the economy. I'm Mayor Buddy Dyer. (laughs) I hate that. I hate that spiel so much. And every airport has it, too. I feel like Orlando's is the most direct that I've heard. Like, everyone has a little bit, but, like, I I feel... It feels like... I don't know. It feels like Buddy Dyer's is, like, the most long-winded, I guess. New Orleans is is annoying, too. I'm trying to... I've only... I think I've only flown into New Orleans once, but I don't remember... I've flown in Also, right now. I'm usually pretty disgruntled getting off an airplane, so <laughs> air, headphones in. Probably missed that in a lot of cities that I've traveled to. Definitely. I don't usually get off a plane in the best of moods. Yeah, even going to Vegas, like, I was so hungover that I just, like, was like, Kevin, please get here. I need in and out or I will <laughs> fall over and die. <laughs> I'd hold yeah. my plane. <laughs> <laughs> it took you a whole extra fucking day. Pat had to sleep in a sleazy motel. There was a whole ass hole in my plane that I flew over in. The plane I flew in. And then we could probably get away with it. And they, they did. did. They did. For all intents and purposes, they just put you in a plane with a hole and you got away with it. This At least they didn't say you want to get on a bus to Vegas. And God. because of the way Spirit's fares are structured, when they refund you, it's like, here's $11. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. So like, st- we don't refund you for taxes, surcharges, fuel. Yes. But here's, here's the fare we seats. charge. <laughs> they charge you for seats. <laughs> Why am I paying for this seat in this plane I'm on once again? Casey and I are taking Spirit up to Boston up. <laughs> There's not a chance we sit next to each other in this flight. I'm not showing up. I'm not. I'm not paying to pick seats. It's like eighteen dollars to pick your seat, which, like, in the grand scheme, isn't a lot, but it's like enough to be annoying. Yeah, it's outside of that cost threshold where you where you don't think about it. Mm-hmm. How, like, I I don't know. I wonder how many people that are flying Spirit are actually paying to pick. Because if you're flying Spirit and then paying to pick your seats, and then the people that are paying to pick their seats are definitely paying for their for bags. Bag. At that point, you Just could get a regular put plane. On an <laughs> get on a regular plane. Although most airlines now charge you for luggage no matter what, which is kind of a scam. Do they really? Yes. Well, yeah. uh, if you're if you're checking it, and oh. you, the way a lot of people travel, it's always checked. Ugh. Even got- some airlines, if you buy like the the bottom tier tickets, which is mm. the tickets that everyone buys, they won't even let you have a full size carry on. Like a suitcase for overhead. It's got to, like, fit between your feet. I do think that if your bag has wheels on it, it's not a carry-on. I feel sure. strongly about that. I don't hate that. I I don't I don't like wheeled suitcases. Like, wheeled suitcases, I get it, but I also try... I tend not to travel with them. I won't. The, 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 yeah, the, the process of, like, storing them and shit is just, like... And then you, I always feel like such a dickhead. You are a dickhead with a big-ass suitcase. Yeah. Flying on a fucking tuna can size plane. Kel and I bought those, like, the nice Osprey, like, travel backpacks, like, for when we went to Europe. Mm-hmm. And I use that shit as my normal suitcase. Because that's just, It's, like, it's really convenient and move it into a backpack. I don't mind it. Because usually when I'm traveling and not backpacking, you're not going that far. So the carry from one place to another is not that bad. Backpack, backpack. I'm backpack. a big fan of duffel bags, too. Big duffel guy. I want a nice leather duffel. I, I'm just still using a free one that I got for free. It is a Jags. It's like a Jags duffel bag, but I got it. I like won it in a contest at work, and that's still what I use almost and all the time. You're embarrassed every time you travel. Wow. Well, I travel, and people are like, "Oh, you're a Jaguars fan," and I'm like, "No, yeah, I, I live in Jacksonville." <laughs> the bag was free. You could say you're the quarterback. Teams. They wouldn't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, I'm the kicker, actually. Everyone, Josh Lambeau is the most famous Jaguar. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> His name's Lambeau. Yeah. It's, it's still got to be. It's still got to be boat. Yeah. Little boaty. He's not little. Let me tell you. Pause. Pause. That's not weird. Yeah, All right, Mister Throat us. Goat. Tell us. <laughs> You're the throat goat. What? <laughs> We've really gone off the rails. 
I got one last thing. So, I was having this conversation with Emma. It turned in... First, women will ask you a what-if question and then walk you into a fight. Like it was your yeah. fault that you asked the question. Second, so we were having a conversation. And I was... She was like, so if there was a fire, like, would you get me or the cat first? And I was like, what are you asking me right now? And she's like, would you save me or the cat? And I was like, if we're in bed together and there is a fire, I'm going to get you and leave the cat, leave the door open so the cat can get out. If the cat doesn't get out, the cat doesn't get out. And that's not on me. Does she just not have legs? I don't know. I don't, (laughs) I, I, I don't know. You know, most animals are fairly capable of walking out of the door (laughs) out of the situation and the cat always like every time i open the door the cat it zooms to the door and is like what's going on out there huh huh what's going on out there so she i mean dug her heels in on like she's like i'll get the cat and i'll just wake you up and then figure you'll figure it out and it's like okay um don't ask me the question and then give the shitty answer (laughs) <laughs> yeah, and she dug her fucking heels in. I was just like, "Are right, you sure? You you sure? Uh, yeah, you're sure. You're super sure." So, so in what situation is it like? There's a fire. I have to pick one thing to save. That's all I can do. <laughs> Trust you me. Push Kayla down and grab Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kayla. Yeah, like there's like I don't. I just didn't understand that. And then something so poetically beautiful happened. So the building behind no, the building behind her is caught on fire. <laughs> and so they're not that far apart. So I w- we went outside because we saw the commotion of the lights and the sirens and everything, and we wanted to know. So I was like, "So uh, how does that? How do you, how do you feel about that now?" And she was like, "You know what? You were right. You were right the whole time. I was being an asshole." <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I think if, if there's a fire, Kayla and I are getting up and getting out. And if the dogs follow us everywhere we go within the house, if they're not following us in the middle of a fire to get out, maybe they want to go. Like, I, it's sad, Maybe it's their time. It feels like a choice on their part. I'll try to save them, but I, I imagine they're coming out with us. I don't know. Animals tend to be pretty stupid. <laughs> they tend to be... Zoe would get out of the house. I was speaking for my dogs, not yours. I don't know. <laughs> I feel so animals have that like danger sense thing yeah. in them like they know when tsunamis and shit are coming so like I feel I like it, don't like fire that's true the one I guess the situation where it would be challenging is if there's like some sort of fire near the door that you as a human know you can get through getting the animal to go through it is, would be difficult yeah so that would have to be a situation but I still think Kayla and I are going through and then it you know I, I'll, I'll push back in try and grab the dogs but at that point you know if the house is going to fall in i'm going to try and get them out obviously but <laughs> i'm not going to let the house fall in on me yeah i'm not going to die in this like, situation I'll, I'll definitely go in and give it give it best effort i love them i want to save them but i also want to save me that's selfish Kevin. I, listen maybe <laughs> it is prick. it is what it is it is what it is. I think the corgi would get out. No way. <laughs> you kidding me? Smoke rises. She's good down there. Yeah, she's chilling. Yeah. She's breathing for days. Yeah. <laughs> so why does she need to move? <laughs> she would wake up and be like, I'm not moving from bed for <laughs> yeah. this. She's, she's like, I'll takes, wait. Takes Luna's bed. <laughs> <laughs> Luna gets up and runs yeah. out with us. She just wanders over to Luna's bed and looks at me. It's like, listen, you've made your choice. I respect it. <laughs> she's like, I wanted to get out of this bitch for a long time anyway. <laughs> You know if your uh, parents' home set on fire, Pat, first thing your mom's doing is saving that 22-year-old cat. <laughs> I do. I do know that. Everyone in the house, toast. Cooked. But the cat that should have been dead four years ago is getting saved. That cat will be like, why? Why did you take me? <laughs> of all the things. Why? She picks him up and he's just like, meow. <laughs> no, not meow. <laughs> <laughs> Kill me! Somebody I know is currently at Bush Gardens, and I just want everyone to know. You, you would have to pay me so much money to go spend a day at a theme park right now. First of all, it's so hot as hell. Yeah, even even without mask and pandemic, you would have to give me 
free ticket, and then probably like free lunch. Because it is so. On top of the hot. fact that there's a pandemic, and you're wearing a mask the whole time, you would have to pay me so much money. It's... I noticed Pat's oddly quiet over there. Are you planning a Universal trip or something? Oh, he's going to Disney next week. No, no, he's he's salty because he's getting Universal is fucking him yeah. because he bought an annual pass and they reopened prematurely just so they could fuck annual yeah. pass holders and not give him anything else free. It's true. Ugh, I'm not renewing. Fuck them. Listen, I've been I've been new. Couldn't be me. All right. Well, thanks for listening, everyone, this week. We fuck Ron DeSantis. It. Big fuck Ron DeSantis. Uh, he's a coward. He deserves to get his ass beat. I'll say it again and again, just not on Twitter, I guess, because I don't know what's the next step after 12 hours of Twitter jail. Probably 24 hours. I mean, it, they probably just increase it by a couple hours, hours each, of each time. <laughs> yeah, they're like, yeah, we'll show you this time. An extra hour, and we'll start it at midnight. Hmm. All right. <laughs> so by 2 p.m., you're back at it. Yeah. So fuck Ron DeSantis. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. See ya. Peace. Oh, I wasn't recording. No, I'm kidding.